We're turning now to a story that went viral this week. A comedian who has proved she's, well, she's always in on the joke, and apparently she is ready for anything you literally throw at her. Yeah, that's like, <laughs> yeah, actually, literally. Ariel Elias was on stage during her comedy set when an audience member began to heckle her about her political affiliations and then threw a drink at her, but it was the way Ariel responded that had everyone talking. Take a look. What's your question? Did you vote for Donald Trump? Did I vote for Donald Trump? What do you think? No. Okay. So you voted for Biden. Okay. Huh. Like, I don't know. Why does it matter? Yeah, so what? Why does it matter? I can just tell by your jokes you voted for Biden. Why are we talking about politics? I can tell by the fact that you're still talking when nobody wants you to that you voted for Trump. <laughs> Here, I'll tell you the I'll tell you the rest of that bit, and then and then we'll move on. I'm so insecure. I went and got an IUD. Oh my god! Oh. Come on, you can't do that. Kidding me? Yeah, I'm never coming. Kidding me? People ever again. Wow. Joining us now mm. is comedian Ariel Elias. So, I mean, that was a hard yeah. throw. If it had hit your head, I can't even imagine uh. what would have happened. How did you, I mean, you actually reacted in a, in a beautiful <laughs> way, a gracious way by just drinking it. But what were you thinking when that happened? Uh, when it hit, I didn't realize how hard it was until after I got home and watched the video mm. and realized like, oh, if that had hit me, I would have had to spend the night in that town probably, which would have been awful. Um, but... I don't know, I just thought, how funny would it be if I drank this? So I picked it up and I, I drank it. <laughs> so when you, when that was all happening, did it seem like time was going slowly? Like, take us through like the second, when did you have the realization and, you know, that what had just happened to pick it up, to start chugging it? And did, at any time, were, were you saying to yourself, I'm on stage, but I'm gonna do this? I mean, I, I think that I would have left I think like a couple of things. One, I've been doing this for a while, so I have lost my cool before. I just didn't that night. I think when you're a woman in comedy, it's generally kind of scary. So you get trained to, to be able to handle these situations. But when it hit, I, it took me a second to realize what had happened. I felt the back of my legs like were wet. Um, and then I saw the can of beer. Well, it was high noon, but until they sponsor me, I'm going to call it beer. And then <laughs> picked it up, um, felt that there was still liquid in it. Also, everybody's attention was on the door, and I wanted the attention back on stage because I still had another five minutes left. So I drank it, got some applause, um, and then I did my, the rest of my jokes, and I sold a bunch of stickers that night. How, how close does it get like this for you? I mean, this is a first, obviously, for something this dramatic to have happened, but how concerned are you going on stage following this? I don't know what it's gonna be like because it's only been a few days. I mean, I, I came home Saturday night and I posted it Sunday morning. So I haven't fully processed it, to be honest. Um, I have been on stage since in the city, and it was fine, at, at, but those are also stages where I feel comfortable. New York City. In New York City, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Mm. Um, <laughs> we call it the city, yeah. too. The city. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> but we'll see what happens um, once, I'm, once I'm out of my comfort zone a little bit. You said what happens. You, you might see you on Kimmel. Kimmel said, uh, yeah. well, you yeah. sent a note to Kimmel uh, via Twitter. Yeah, you got to shoot your shot. And you did. And apparently <laughs> he is going to, uh, he said yes, yeah. that he would, uh, you should come on and do your bit on his show. Is that, is that in the works? Is that going to happen? Yeah, yet? yeah, that's in the works. I mean, oh, wow. not to like brag, 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 but like, I think I've been ready for late night for a few years. Woo! So, hey, 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 that's what I'm talking about. about. That's a girl boss and, and right you, there. You probably won't have to wear a helmet or any type of, you know, no, protective equipment. No, I think equipment. like generally his, his, his audience seems pretty chill, um, <laughs> pretty, uh, pretty, pretty kind. Yeah. Um, but you so have a yeah. way apparently of working up crowds there, Ariel. Uh, <laughs> no, really, uh, you have been great throughout this. That was a scary moment, actually, given all that we have seen yep. when it comes to comedians here lately, the past few months. You handled that absolutely beautifully, so we look forward to seeing you on Kimmel stage at some point. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.